As we move into the UML, Unified Modeling Language, section of our class, we're going to move from using Visual Logic to Visual Paradigm. This is a free program. You'll want to use the free Community Edition for non-commercial use. For classroom use, this is fine. And you'll notice that they have versions that you install and versions that you don't install. Ver the versions you don't install, it explains how to set this up. It's just running as an executable. It's not actually tied into your computer, so you can run it from a thumb drive. And this one can also be installed on many different operating systems, including Mac, if you wish to. So you want to go to visual-paradigm.com download. Download the free community edition that works for your computer. Once you've downloaded and installed it, when you open it, this is what you're going to see. And you'll notice it is not for commercial use, and we will get some watermarks when we use it. Visual Paradigm is a fairly deep program, and we're not going to get all the way into it. But it is an excellent tool for creating unified modeling language diagrams. We are going to start with our initial diagram, which will be a class diagram. To create a class diagram, just double click where it says class diagram. Actually, I'm right clicking and choosing new class diagram. And then it's going to put in the diagram name here, which is class diagram 1. And under class diagram, I'm just going to select it and then draw my class diagram. Up at the top it says class. I'm going to click next to it and I'm going to put in the class name. My sample class will be student. I can right click to add items to it. And this is going to be very simple to do. We're just going to add attributes with getter and setter methods. So my first attribute will be student ID. And try to avoid using spaces because you really shouldn't. You'll notice it automatically puts a minus in front of it because typically in object-oriented programming those properties, those variables, should be private. And the minus sign indicates that they're private. When it creates that attribute. It also creates methods, getter and setter methods, which are have plus signs to the left of them indicating that they are public methods and that they're available from outside of the immediate program. You'll see that it is going to return student ID here or set or get student ID return nothing because it's a void return type. You've got get and set student ID methods already put in place. Now the next attribute that I'm going to add will be first name. And again it automatically adds the first name getter and setter functions. And then I'm also going to add the last name. And this is a this is a very standard program for creating UML diagrams and this is one of the most basic diagrams you can create. Something I would like to show you in the full version there is actually an option. Let's see if I can get it open up on screen here. There's actually an option if you right click to create Java round trip C round trip. What that means is that you can either generate code or you can reverse code and create a class diagram from the code. You can see how using a planning tool like this that can just create the basic code for you from the click of a button would make software development standardized, less error prone, and much faster. So for your homework for this week, you have two class diagrams that you need to create. And you need to look at the example in the book and from my lecture on how to create pseudocode for classes because you'll you'll create two class diagrams and the pseudocode to go with them. When to hand this in, I want you to select file export active diagram as image. 
and so I'm going to just save this to my desktop for right now and it's going to be called Winchester because I download these please use your last name and then it's going to be dash student because it's the student diagram and I'm going to save it I'm going to open the file so you can see what you get and it does have the community edition behind it don't worry about that but I want you to hand in the image of your file that'll make it easy for everybody to look at them quickly without having to download them and open them so you'll have to hand in your classes plus your pseudocode for the homework for this week